Hi all my friends on YouTube, I'm Stephen King and welcome to King Country. In this video we're going to be hiking in the Barrington Tops National Park and it's going to look a little bit like this. Ah, oh, what's in my ear? Like, it's got to have like pee in it, like seriously. Just was not expecting that. Like fucking snakes. So we're going to be starting out on the Blue Grum Rocky Crossing track, which is going to be a distance of seven kilometres. Then we're going to be gaining an elevation of 395 metres. Then we're going to link on to the Croker Trail to gain 972 metres elevation to reach Kerry's Peak. All right, so I've just had the morning um, getting all my kit together. We're going to have a hard weekend. There's people up here. You know how I feel about people? And one of them's literally carrying a fucking cowbell. They're kind of ruining the ambience, eh? Right, I've got to get out of here before cowbell gets back or catches up. like everything you look at is just like spectacular all right i have reached said sign and said intersection because this way goes back to like the car park and on the other hand we're going this way and we're going to go deeper into the park oh that looks pretty cool oh dude look at that oh no Yeah, this is a pretty good idea. I have a public service announcement for everyone. The bridge is closed. Warning, this bridge is out of order. Let's inspect this. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's pretty much proper fucked, eh? Well, let's have a look at our alternatives here. <laughs> dude, would you just look at that? Oh, dude, there's a fernie in there, mate. Here we go. Dude. Right, let's get moving. We are at the Pool of Reflections. As we can see why. Yeah, I know. More tranquil rainforest. But yeah, there's no water in these creeks. And yeah, yet again... My dodgy camera work. So we've sort of had a little stop back there, which I didn't um, film anything of. Thinking about setting up camp at like 4.30. That gives me six hours now. Check it out. We are here. Whoa. Sticks. Um, oh, no way, look at this. Oh no, hang on. That's one of them. Check it out. It's one of those strangler vines that's totally um, destroyed the tree. Uh, well, no, this is all vine. Is that all tree? Is there any tree up there? 
Ah, la vie, la vie. Oh, no way. Check this out. Hang on, I might have to take my pack off. Ah. Right, we're inside it. Oh, there's any snakes? I like fucking snakes. Check that out. Um, yeah, you could quite easily, easily, like, shimmy up through there. Fuck, should I? But it's, it's pretty easy. Like, there's plenty to grab onto. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool, eh? Anyway, it might shimmy down and keep moving before Cowbells catches up. Just spectacular. Like, everything. Dude, that reminds me of something that from the Bibbleman. The uh, Kerry trees. Dude, that's like... It's like pretty big ass. I don't know, you can't really see. Hang on. There you go. All right, uh, we got to the Rocky Crossing Junction and there's something awesome over... Oh, there's something awesome over here too. Hang on, there's something awesome over here to show you. There we go, that looks kind of awesome, eh? Strangle a vine around, um, looks pretty cool. Another bigger... Ah, what's in my ear? Ah, it's my sunglasses. Head down here. Oh, that's something to eat. Oh, hang on. Yeah, uh, wait till you see this. I was just like, whoa, shit, check this out. Shit, how's that? Oh, yeah, we're definitely having something to eat here. Um, I've been going up this steep grade for quite some time. I was smashing it, but uh, yeah. Give me a sec. Hang on. Over here. Oh, mum. Here, Rocky Crossy Trailhead. There's a young. Um... Oh, that's a plow. Anyway. And there we go. Casey's Peak, 12 kilometres. Very steep. Yeah, we've certainly climbed some elevation. <laughs> it was certainly pretty steep. Finally. Finally, we seem to be uh, at the top. 1,549 feet elevation. <sighs> okay, was, was not expecting that. Just was not expecting that. Snowball! There's um, there's some snow here. It's a bit more and a bit more snow. And I'm at a junction. I thought I was actually gonna have to walk in the snow here for a minute. Well, snow drifts are getting bigger and bigger. Still going uphill too. I'm uh, pack free. Oh yeah, the temperature's dropping a little bit. Yeah, there's still snow about. Dump the pack. We're just summiting the mountain now. Scarpa back down here, grab the pack. That's a pretty good one. You fucking shitting me. I fucking left my pack behind. I'm coming back and staying here. People. Dreaded, dreaded people. Oh, cool. It's snow caps. 
Oh, dude. Are you fucking serious? Well, uh, that's something to see. These uh, snow gums are pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna get this pack. Alrighty, so I got my pack back. I did actually misplace it there for a few seconds. I've got one point something to a campsite. And we have arrived at said campsite. Over a marsh. Here we go, this is one of them. We'll get that going, Reels. Oh, dude, look, there's already heaps here. Oh, yes, we'll have a good one. And there's some... Yeah, there's water over here. So, um, let's get into it. All righty, check it out. Got the tent set up. And uh, there's one spanky new uh, sleeping bag there. I like it. I can actually see snow from my tent. Now, this is probably a special one for Dazzy. You'll appreciate this. <laughs> Guess what I found? <laughs> In, um, like a hut up here. Now, when I first saw it, I'm like, it's got to have, like, pee in it. Like, seriously. I have smelt it. I have looked at it. I have observed the colour. I have shaken it. Like, I don't, like... I don't think anyone spat in it or peed in it. I really just believe it is actually just a bit of wild turkey. Mate, that's got to be like one of the easiest fires I've ever lit in my life. Yeah, look at that bad boy. Sun's um just setting. Ah, all right, just getting uh, moving for the day. It's um, 9.23. What we are doing today is I'm basically starting to head back. On the way back, we might take a bit of a detour. So I'm at the uh, point, apparently 200 metres off into there, there's a waterfall and a hut. Um, it's only 200 metres, let's go. Um, it could be a very slow 200 metres. Ends up a bit zigzaggy. Ah, lawyer vine. And voila. One waterfall and one hut. Let's go check it out. No way, check it out. Yeah, this is like a proper snow hut. Like, you could easily... Oh, dude, there's mattresses in here. Um... There's even some tinned food, cooking you turn. Dude, there's a coffee pot in here. Fry pan. Dude. There's also an axe, saw, firewood. What else do I see out here? Oh no. Yeah. Jeez. That's um that's pretty well set up. see what they've done here look that's that's the trail that goes down there it is not marked at all so uh we finished the 12k descent we've hit said road again 
And oh, he's just around the corner here. We'll scarf her back onto that track. So I'm pretty warm, actually. And remember, the bridge is closed. Certainly feeling the pinch a little bit, eh? Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car. All right, so I've made it back to this zone. Uh, 1.5 kilometers to go. All right, so I've only just got home, just back on the boat. Um, something's going on. We're jumping in the dinghy. Something's going on. Check this out. We're off. It's just a burn back, like it's not actually a point of fire. And let's see if we can get it. Yeah, that flash is the Baron Joey Lighthouse. No way. Listen to it crackle. I don't know. Arriving back at the yacht. Back on board. Oh, hang on, we'll come down here. All right, all right. That'll do for one weekend, I think. I'm having a lovely time. I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed this episode of King Country, and we'll check you next time. Mm -hmm.